So uh, they promised Bret Hart in action, a whole host of superstars, including a few surprises for Jim Cornette. Cornette wants to make sure there will be no Undertaker tonight. And then we have our opener, the Macho Man Randy Savage versus Head Shrinker Fatu. Ironically, it would have been his 70th birthday today. Hmm. Macho Man? Yeah. I got to say, I was watching this match, and man, oh man, you know, this Macho Man Randy Savage, he's got some charisma, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He's a very charismatic bloke, and he's got a lot of color, and everybody, when they think of Macho Man, they think of his interviews and his jackets and his fringe, and uh, when I was a young wrestler myself, and I was, uh, I hated being a babyface. I just wanted to be a heel, but I had to be a baby face. And I remember people always saying, you know, if you want to be a good baby face, you got to watch Ricky Morton. That's what people always said back then. You got to watch Ricky Morton if you want to learn how to be a good baby face, if you want to learn how to sell. Why the fuck did nobody tell me to watch Macho Man Randy Savage to learn how to sell? This Fair. fucking guy is unbelievable at selling. He's, I mean... We, we saw this when we went through all those nitros and we watched all these Savage matches, and they were all the same. Savage gets his ass kicked for eight minutes straight. Then he hits one move, the elbow, and wins. Yep. The fucking same exact match right here. Mm -hmm. To the point where I'm watching the match and I'm thinking, like, everyone always used to make fun of Brett for the same five moves and Hogan and all those guys. And I'm trying to think about how many moves can I even think of Randy Savage doing. I could think of when he did the the double sledge off the post. Double sledge. Yep. The flying elbow. The flying elbow. He did the uh, hangman clothesline like Giant Baba. Yep. Uh, running knee to the back. Okay. Uh, neck snap on the ropes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A whole lot of punching and choking. I mean, he had nothing. Body slam. But he was awesome. Of course he was. Because all man. he had to do was go in there, run wild for a second. He would get cut off. And he would just sell his ass off. And he was so good at selling. And then he did his one move. Whatever his comeback was, it was always like one move. His comeback was one move and his finish. And then he hit that big elbow and he won. It's exactly what he did here. I was watching this thing going, I can't believe how good this is. And he's not doing a thing except was selling. Was there a move in there, or did he evade and then hit the elbow right away? Uh, Afa ended up, excuse me, uh, uh, Fatu ended up outside mm -hmm. somehow, and Savage left the ring to throw him back in to do one move and do the elbow. Okay. I'm honestly not even sure how he ended up outside. And it wasn't even like he took a lot of bumps. No. Was... You know, he just, it was a very simple, easy heat. You know, he'd get thrown into the steps, you know, stomach first, and just drape over it like he was dead. And, you know, man, this guy was great. So uh, Cornette here is comparing Randy Savage to uh, hippie characters. Yeah. He says, Jack Kerouac is dead. Wavy Gravy is dead. And I'd, I'd heard of Wavy Gravy before. Except the first Woodstock. I, I couldn't. Sorry, I had to look this up. Not only was Wavy Gravy not dead in 1993. Yeah. He's not dead in 2022. What? <laughs> yeah. Wavy Gravy what? is still around. Hold on a second. Yeah. Wavy gravy. Huh? Yeah, he was a he was a hippie. Still is probably. I'm assuming he hasn't had a great philosophical change in the uh, ensuing decades. Well, we don't know that for sure. So yeah, the the match was very simple. Uh, Savage kept throwing Fatu's head into things, but Fatu is Samoan, so his head never hurt. And uh, the shrunken head was used, and uh, Fatu would take the ref and off or attack Savage outside. And eventually, Savage did one move and hit his elbow and won, and it was all very fun. Mm -hmm. An 86-year-old hippie. Yeah. What a life. Hugh Nanton Ramney Jr., known as Wavy Gravy. Huh. About that. Announcement. Todd Pettengill, host of WWF Mania, has reached into his own pocket, pulled out his own checkbook, and paid his own money to buy time on Raw. I'm skeptical about this. Why has he done this? Well, here he appears here from the set of WWF Mania, which he assures us is one of the more popular shows in the WWF Network. Well, I mean, it is, but we don't have a lot of them. I was going to say, that it's, I'm sure it's no worse than fourth. Uh, he says, apparently, 
Savage was removed as host or co-host for Mania. Pettengill wants him back. He thinks Macho Man deserves to be on Mania. He wants you, the fans, to vote yes. I believe, I believe it was referendum M for Macho. And then they put the 900 number. You can call to say whether or not you think Macho Man should be allowed to co-host WWF Mania with Todd Pettengill. What a shtick. For only 99 cents. These fucking phone gimmicks, dude. What a gimmick. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of criticism about professional wrestling. You all right over there? What's going on with you? There's up with the mic. Sorry. No, what do you need so much water for today? It's coffee. Put that away. Crying out loud, it's nighttime. You're not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> you have to have another drink right now. God help me. Now, where was I? People didn't like this so much, I hear. I can't even remember what I was angry about. I got, I got a question. Is anyone else thirsty? How did I not see I'm, that? I just, uh, you absolute... Oh God, I hate everybody on this show. It's not an issue of whether the listeners can hear it. I don't care about you. It's about me. Sociopath. God. Sheesh. Me? Yeah. Now my wife is texting me, Craig. I hope you're happy about that. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.